Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Administrator AZ104 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of the Microsoft AZ104 exam. I am your host Neetu Rai from Up Degree, and let's get started. Question 31. You have two Azure virtual machines named VM1 and VM2. You have two recovery services vault named RSV1 and RSV2. VM2 is backed up to RSV1. You need to back up VM2 to RSV2. What should you do first? Now the options are Option A From the RSV1 blade, click backup items and stop the VM2 backup. Option B From the RSV2 blade, click backup. From the backup blade, select the backup for the virtual machine and then click backup. Option C From the VM2 blade, click disaster recovery, click replication settings and then select RSV2 as the recovery services vault. Option D From the RSV1 blade, click backup jobs and export the VM2 job. And the correct answer is Option A From the RSV1 blade, Click backup items and stop the VM2 backup. Explanation VMS can only be backed up in a single recovery services vault. You have to stop the VM2 backup from the RSV1 first. Otherwise, you won't be able to find the VM2 in RSV2. Question 32 You have an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that runs Windows Server 2016. You need to create an alert in Azure when more than two error events are logged to the system. Event log on VM1 within an hour. Solution. You create an Azure Log Analytics workspace and configure the data settings. You add the Microsoft Monitoring Agent VM extension to VM1. You create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify the Log Analytics workspace as the source. Does this meet the goal? Now, the options are. Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option B, no. Explanation. You must install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on VM1 and not the Microsoft Monitoring Agent VM extension. Question 33. You have an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that runs Windows Server 2016. You need to create an alert in Azure when more than two error events are logged to the system. Event log on VM1 within an hour. Solution. You create an Azure Log Analytics workspace and configure the data settings. You install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on VM1. You create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify the Log Analytics workspace as the source. Does this meet the goal? Now, the options are Option A yes option b no and the correct answer is option a yes explanation alerts in azure monitor can identify important information in your log analytics repository they are created by alert rules that automatically run log searches at regular intervals and if the results of the log search match particular criteria then an alert record is created and it can be configured to perform an automated response. The Log Analytics agent collects monitoring data from the guest operating system and workloads of virtual machines in Azure, other cloud providers, and on premises. It collects data into a Log Analytics workspace. Question 34 You have an Azure subscription that contains the resources shown in the following table. All virtual machines run Windows Server 2016. On VM1, you back up a folder named Folder1 as shown in the following exhibit. You plan to restore the backup to a different virtual machine. You need to restore the backup to VM2. What should you do first? Now, the options are Option A. From VM1, Install the Windows Server Backup feature. Option B. From VM2, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services Agent. Option C. 
from VM1, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services agent. Option D, from VM2, install the Windows Server Backup feature. And the correct answer is Option B. From VM2, install the Microsoft Azure Recovery Services agent. Question 35. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1 that contains the resources shown in the following table. VM1 connects to a virtual network named VNet2 by using a network interface named NIC1. You need to create a new network interface named NIC2 for VM1. Solution You create NIC2 in RG1 and West US. Does this meet the goal? Now, the options are Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option A, yes. Explanation The virtual machine you attach a network interface to and the virtual network you connect it to must exist in the same location. Herein, West US, also referred to as a reason. Question 36. You deploy an Azure Kubernetes service cluster named AKS1. You need to deploy a YAML file to AKS1. Solution. From Azure CLI, you run the kubectl client. Does this meet the goal? Now, the options are Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. To manage a Kubernetes cluster, use the Kubernetes command line client kubectl then run. kubectl apply f azure vault yaml. Question 37. You have an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that runs Windows Server 2016. You need to create an alert in Azure when more than two error events are logged to the system event log on VM1 within an hour. Solution. You create an Azure storage account and configure shared access signatures. You install the Microsoft monitoring agent on VM1. You create an alert in Azure monitor and specify the storage account as the source. Does this meet the goal? Now, the options are Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option B, no. Explanation. Instead, you create an Azure Log Analytics workspace and configure the data settings. You install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on VM1. You create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify the Log Analytics workspace as the source. Question 38. You plan to automate the deployment of a virtual machine scale set that uses the Windows Server 2016 data center image. You need to ensure that when the scale set virtual machines are provisioned, they have web server components installed. Which two actions should you perform? Select two options. Now, the options are Option A. Upload a configuration script. Option B. Create an automation account. Option C. Create an Azure policy. Option D. Modify the extension profile section of the Azure Resource Manager template. Option E. Create a new virtual machine scale set in the Azure portal. And the correct answer is Option A and D. Upload a configuration script and modify the extension profile section of the Azure Resource Manager template. Explanation. The custom script extension downloads and executes a script on Azure VMS. This extension is useful for post-deployment configuration software installation or any other configuration or management task. Scripts can be downloaded from Azure Storage or GitHub or provided to the Azure portal at extension runtime. The custom script extension integrates with Azure Resource Manager templates and can also be used with the Azure CLI, Azure PowerShell, Azure Portal or the REST API. The following custom script extension definition downloads a sample script from GitHub, installs the required packages, then writes the VM instance host name to a basic HTML page. Question 39. 
you create an app service plan named plan 1 and an azure web app named web app 1 you discover that the option to create a staging slot is unavailable you need to create a staging slot for plan 1 what should you do first now the options are option a from plan 1 scale up the app service plan option b from web app 1 modify the application settings option c from web app 1 add a custom domain option d from plan 1 scale out the app service plan and the correct answer is option a from plan 1 scale up the app service plan explanation the app must be running in the standard premium or isolated trial in order for you to enable multiple deployment slots if the app isn't already in the standard premium or isolated tire, you receive a message that indicates the supported tires for enabling staged publishing. At this point, you have the option to select upgrade and go to the scale tab of your app before continuing. Scale up. Get more CPU, memory, disk, space and extra features like dedicated virtual machines, custom domains, and certificates, staging slots, auto scaling, and more. And correct, scale out. Increase the number of VM instances that run your app. You can scale out to as many as 30 instances. Question 40. You plan to move a distributed on premises app named App 1 to an Azure subscription. After the planned move, App 1 will be hosted on several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that App 1 always runs on at least 8 virtual machines during planned Azure maintenance. What should you create? Now, the options are Option A. One virtual machine scale set that has 10 virtual machines instances. Option B. One availability set that has 3 fault domains and 1 update domain. Option C. One availability set that has 10 update domains and one fault domain. Option D. One virtual machine scale set that has 12 virtual machines instances. And the correct answer is option A. One virtual machine scale set that has 10 virtual machines instances. Explanation. VM scale set consists of a set of identically configured VMS. Availability set consists of a set of discrete VMS. No more than 20% of the scale set is upgrading at any time. Then 2 machines out of 10 will have maintenance and the 8 remaining VMS will be up. Virtual machine scale sets are created with 5 fault domains by default in Azure regions with no zones. For the reasons that support the zonal deployment of virtual machine scale sets and this option is selected. The default value of the fault domain count is 1 for each of the zones. FD is equal to 1. In this case, implies that the VM instances belonging to the scale set will be spread across many racks on a best effort basis. Question 41. You have an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that runs Windows Server 2016. You need to create an alert in Azure when more than two error events are logged to the system. Event log on VM1 within an hour. Solution You create an event subscription on VM1. You create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify VM1 as the source. Does this meet the goal? Now the options are Option A Yes Option B No And the correct answer is Option B. No. Explanation. Instead, you create an Azure Log Analytics workspace and configure the data settings. You install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on VM1. You create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify the Log Analytics workspace as the source. Question 42. You have an Azure Virtual Machine named VM1. VM1 was deployed by using a custom Azure Resource Manager template named ARM1.json. You receive a notification that VM1 will be affected by maintenance. You need to move VM1 to a different host immediately. 
solution. From the overview blade, you move the virtual machine to a different subscription. Does this meet the goal? Now, the options are Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is Option B, no. Question 43. You have an Azure subscription that contains a web app named Web App 1. You need to add a custom domain named www.contosu.com to Web App 1. What should you do first? Now, the options are Option A. Create a DNS record. Option B. Add a connection string. Option C. Upload a certificate. Option D. Stop Web App 1. And the correct answer is Option A. Create a DNS record. Explanation. You can use either a CNAME record or an A record to map a custom DNS name to app service. Question 44. You have an Azure policy as shown in the following exhibit. What is the effect of the policy? Now, the options are Option A. You are prevented from creating Azure SQL servers anywhere in subscription 1. Option B. You can create Azure SQL servers in Contoso RG1 only. Option C. You are prevented from creating Azure SQL servers in Contoso RG1 only. Option D. You can create Azure SQL servers in any resource group within subscription 1. And the correct answer is option B. You can create Azure SQL servers in Contoso RG1 only. Explanation. You are prevented from creating Azure SQL servers anywhere in subscription 1, with the exception of Contoso RG1. Question 45. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1 that is used by several departments at your company. Subscription 1 contains the resources in the following table. Another administrator deploys a virtual machine named VM1 and an Azure storage account named Storage2 by using a single Azure Resource Manager template. You need to view the template used for the deployment. From which blade can you view the template that was used for the deployment? Now, the options are Option A. VM1 Option B. RG1 Option C. Storage 2. Option D. Container 1. And the correct answer is Option B. RG1. Explanation. View template from deployment history. Number 1. Go to the resource group for your new resource group. Notice that the portal shows the result of the last deployment. Select this link. Number 2. You see a history of deployments for the group. In your case, the portal probably lists only one deployment. Select this deployment. Number 3. The portal displays a summary of the deployment. The summary includes the status of the deployment and its operations and the values that you provided for parameters. To see the template that you used for the deployment, select View Template. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our AZ104 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.